I would like to welcome everyone on behalf of Home Distilleries and Breweries Limited for the Q3 and 9 months FY 2019 earnings call. This is our first ever results conference call and I appreciate that all of you dialing in and taking the time out. During today's call, first I'd like to discuss our performance highlights as well as the industry environment and outlook for the company. Then I will hand it over to Mr. Nakul Sethi, who is the Director of Finance and Strategy, for a detailed discussion on the quarterly performance, post which we will open for an interactive. Uh, I would like to start with the key highlights of Q3, FY 2019. Uh, during this quarter, we generated beer volumes of 15.9 lakh cases, which is an increase of 17.6% on a Y on Y basis. Our IMFL volume increased by 40.9% on a year-on-year -year basis to 2.7 lakh cases. Our total top line or income for the period increased by 30% on a year-on-year -year basis to 855 million. The beta during the Q3 FY 2009 was 122 million, representing an increase of 7.1% EBITDA margin during the same period which was 14.2%. The key operating highlights during the quarter include SOMS uh, credit rating by big upgrade in SOMS credit rating by Brickworks in October. ICRA has also rated our fund-based and non-fund-based facilities to BBB plus and A2 plus respectively. Both the agencies have stable outlook and have indicated uh, upgrading it to positive outlook with improvement in profitability and scale. We also started production of our Alcopop or uh, RTD segment White Fox from January 2019 from our Karnataka subsidies. Currently, the volume for this is small, but we see a very strong acceptance of this product in coming quarters. The Karnataka facility received the prime of, uh, primary approval for CSD supply from the Karnataka subsidiary. With this addition, we will now be able to supply the pan and width uh, of the country to, uh, and covering all the CSD depots in India. Recently in the budget, it was proposed to increase additional duty on beer. Given this hike is for uh, all the beer manufacturers in the state, in our view, this may lead to a shifting of price sensitive consumers and will and the overall market share or the market side not see much change. A performance during the quarter was encouraging with the Karnataka plant record, recording a positive bottom line driven by significantly in, improvised utilization levels. We expect the utilization levels to further improve in Q4, F19, and will drive top line and profitability for this subsidiary. The response for our brands in Maharashtra, especially Mumbai, has started gaining momentum. Driven by better consumer acceptances and distribution of our product, we are focused on expanding reach in the market. We expect the, this market to continue its positive growth in the coming months. Our recently acquired uh, Odisha plant is expected to start production towards the end of FY 2019 and would be our key dry footprint in the markets of Eastern India. We remain committed towards ensuring profitable growth in the coming quarters on the back of the various expansion and initiatives which we have taken in the recent years which will not only drive the top line as well as the bottom line. With this, I would now like to hand over to Mr. Nakul Sethi, who would run us through the numbers in Q3. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deepak. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Q3 FY 2019 earnings call. Uh, our consolidated total income for the quarter was 855 million, representing an increase of 30.8% uh, year-on-year basis. Our consolidated EBITDA for the quarter increased by 
by 7.1 percent to rupees 122 million. Our EBITDA margins declined from 17.4 percent in Q3 by 2018 to 14.2 uh, percent in Q3 by 2019. EBITDA for the period included impact of a number of factors, new bottles, and a higher number of employees for supporting the growth in the new markets targeted during the year. Interest cost for the quarter increased by 59% year on year to rupees 34 million. As a percentage of total income, it stood at 3.9% in Q3 2019 compared to 3.2% in quarter 3 FI 2018. Also, depreciation expenses almost doubled from rupees 12 million in Q3 FI 2018 to rupees 24 million in Q3 FI 2019. This increase was merely attributable to the higher depreciation in our subsidiary woodpecker. Our consolidated fat was rupees 44 million in Q3 FY 2019 with a margin of 5.1%. We have a strong balance sheet and conservative leverage profile to support our future shares. As on 31st December 2018, the total debts stood at 1141 million and cash and cash equivalents of rupees 115 million, resulting in a net debt of rupees 1027 million. Gross debt to equity ratio improved from 0.45x in quarter 2 FY 2019 to 0.38x in quarter 3 FY 2019. Gross debt to EBITDA ratio also improved to 1.81x in December 2018 compared to 2.08x in September 2018. During the quarter, our credit rating uh, the credit rating of the company were also upgraded from triple B to triple B plus and non fund based limits from A3 to A2. ICRA has also rated our fund based limits and non fund based limits plus and A2 plus respectively. Both the agencies have provided a stable outlook and have indicated upgrading it to positive outlook with improvement <coughs> in profitability and scale. Moving to operational performance during the nine months, FY 2019, volume of our brand Hunter recorded a growth of 8.5% year on year to reach 22.8 lakh cases. This improvement is a testament to our capability to market it as a premium product, leading to shifting consumer preferences towards the brand. Blackfoot beer volume declined 6% compared to the same period last year. A power cool brand recorded a volume growth of 7.2% compared to the same period last year. This was primarily due to a strong demand of the brand in the Kerala and MP market. Our IMFL portfolio recorded a growth of 14.1% year on 6.2 lakh cases. Quarter 3 is generally stronger for IMFL sales and we were able to supply, start supply from Karnataka plant uh, from November 2018.